Um, but he fixes it. Like he's like on the runway while they're being shot and he's trying to fix it. And he gets shot in the shoulder. And at the end of the movie, they land Wait, at uh, a safe. Yeah. They say he, you can't land without landing gear. Yeah. That's one of the points they bring up. Has so he while they're being shot the at Hudson river landing. No, I guess not. Because while they're being shot at, he desperately was, like stands outside of the plane trying to fix the landing gear while everyone else is on board and ready to go. Um, but he gets shot in the shoulder, and they take off and they land the plane in a safe airport. And everyone else gets off the plane. They unfurl the like little jump slide and they slide down, and like the medical people are escorted off. But Gerard Butler, who is currently bleeding out from a bullet in the shoulder, tells and everyone his leg. He got shot. So yeah, when oh, he was and the fixing, leg, right. When he was fixing <laughs> right. the brakes, he, he took he a shot to the leg and then continued running to the plane. And then when he yep, was having he, his stare down with Dottu, he gets shot in the shoulder. Yep, yep. He gets shot. He gets shot multiple times. He's bleeding out. He has been rescuing and running around the island all day he just tells everyone you guys go on ahead i need a minute you all go go it's fine tend to your families go get attention i'll be there and you think he's gonna die on the plane he's gonna have like this heroic like well i did it time to finally die but nope he just kind of awkwardly sits there for three minutes and then gets up and walks off the plane <laughs> for no reason <laughs> It's 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 oh, such a stinker. It's, it's such so a fucking terrible. stinker. I wouldn't I, <laughs> like it'd just be like a forgettably bad movie because it's not like entertainingly shit. It's just really just kind of super shit. Mm -hmm. and I wouldn't care as much if people just didn't for some reason like it. That just makes me upset. The fact that anyone liked it really is just offensive <laughs> to me. <laughs> yep. I I thought after walking out of that theater, we were never going to talk about this movie again. Yeah, that's kind of what I thought too. <laughs> that's what I thought. I mean, after the schools Bella. are like. The score's like 7 out of 10 average. I mean, that's somewhat high. Not on but it's Rotten like, Tomatoes. Yeah, it's 94 it's actually, on Rotten Tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 94% audience oh. score, by the way, where usually with a bad movie, it's the other way around. You know, the critics are all like, oh, this is the best movie ever. And then the audience goes, no, 0%. But yeah. this time, it's the other way around. It's interesting. It was just so bad. It, it, so there's just fun bad or just nothing to like? Bad, bad. No, no it, it was bad, boring. Bad. Boring, bad. Yeah, very it, boring bad it's very bad as an action movie it's very bad as a suspenseful movie it's yeah. very bad as an experience like like Andrew said I thought this was going to be something that we talk about on the way home and then never talk about again because it's yeah. not like Moonfall <laughs> where there's like so much to like about it yeah. being bad this is legitimately nothing to have any amount of fun it's just terrible it, it, the it only scene in the I'll movie I'll tell you what it is yeah go ahead 93% of the people that like this are definitely like people in their 40s or 50s because this is the type of movie that my parents would love to watch I think oh, my dad I guess I, I, I have a hard time <laughs> believing that though the only mm. scene in the movie that was any enjoyable was they're sneaking into the pirate camp to get the passengers out of a prison and one of the guys the prisoner dude who's being extradited finds a sledgehammer and he just starts like caving pirate skulls in left and right while they're like trying to sneak in. Which would and be it, cool if they fucking showed it, but they so yeah, they show they one hit and, and he gets hit with a sledgehammer and his nose bleeds and he just yep. dies. The and other they one don't show it. Yeah, the other one <laughs> he hits him off camera and then he's presumably on the floor. So then they pan the camera up to the sledgehammer coming down and a noise going. <laughs> Yep, it, they don't show anything, <laughs> and and it could have been this nice moment of character writing and levity because there's this like dark, serious, horrible tone and all this shit. But the pilot and the extradited prisoner are bonding, and the whole point is the prisoner's not afraid to like kill people and get his hands dirty and shoot. And the pilot's like, yeah, I mean, I used to be in the fucking army and I could do this. Like, I'll follow you. <laughs> but but it shows this contrast of the prisoner's like a brutal motherfucker. Like he's not afraid to explode a man's skull with a sledgehammer. But no, it just kind of happens, and they just move on. No Nothing really comes from that. It's just a goofy little Why scene. You, I mean, I, I get that, like, we're critiquing the uh, the writing and stuff. We're really, like, nitpicking the quality of the movie or whatever. But, like, mm -hmm. this this seems like <laughs> the kind of movie that would have the uh, kind of dialogue that it has or the kind of writing that it has. It seems like shit that they just shout out, basically. It doesn't more, really like, have writing. Like, they, they don't even really speak to each other. Gerard Butler's like... Yeah. You, or not, not Gerard Butler. The prisoner's like, okay, you're going to take the guy on the left, I'll take the guy on the right. Gerard Butler's like, oh, God, okay. And then he does it, he's like, oh, God, okay. So then they go and they yeah. rescue the prisoner. Like, they don't really talk. It's just Gerard Butler well, going, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, it's funny, it's funny. Um, they should have swapped 
the leading roles. Gerard Butler should have been the prisoner because the prisoner is the badass of the movie. Yeah. He kills people. He gets his hands dirty. He gets in there. He's like fucking shooting left and right. He's having a great time. But Gerard Butler is like a fucking a pussy half the movie. Like well, a he's a bitch. fucking airline okay, pilot. I have... <laughs> but he's but he says early in the movie he flew for the Air Force. So he's yeah, in the that army. Mean he's, the, the Air Force pilots are on the ground, like punching it people and shit. Even still, it doesn't <laughs> fucking matter. But he's in the other guys are prisoner. People. True, true. Okay, I, I've been taking notes. So matters. here, according according to what I've heard so far, here are better <laughs> movies that I would recommend: Fifty Caliber Gun, Rambo Four. You have to make sure that you seek out the uncensored version. It's a lot of fun. It's and a good also, movie. just the good guy clearing out an entire island full of bad guys. That's also what the movie is good for. Um, as far as plane crashes go, Flight with Denzel Washington and Flight of the Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Both are good for plane crash uh, movies. And Con Air, if you want to watch Prisoners yeah, on a Plane, and it's goofily um, entertaining. If you want to if you want to watch uh, the reverse, Die Hard 2 about a plane being fucking fucked with and an airport and all that shit and a guy having to stop a bunch of terrorists by sneaking through it. Die Hard 2. It's a great or, movie for that. Or if you want a, a movie film. just based around planes in general, I recommend Airplane. Good comedy. Oh, yeah. If you want to laugh about airplanes, yeah. yeah. There's a, there's a lot of better one. movies is what we're saying. What? How? Yeah. how what? You've, you've never heard of Airplane? What? Uh, yeah, yeah Kai, we've talked about airplane. No, Leslie Nielsen. What? Leslie it's Nielsen like, comedy oh. from the seventies. You ever seen um, a grown man yeah. naked? Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's like one of the most Turkish prolific person. comedies of all time. Yeah, you, you yeah, know airplane. Fair. I may, I may have to refresh my memory, but yeah, I haven't watched oh, this since go I was watch it. a teenager. Yeah, it's so good. Oh it's held God. up perfectly. It's still yeah, hilarious. It Same with the sequel. It's also good. Airplane two. See, that was a positive note. We See, yeah, I mean, we, we, we yeah. made it a positive note at the end, but it was like twenty minutes of ranting about a shitty movie. <laughs> but you gotta, you gotta have your vegetables before you get the. <laughs> That's what I've always said. <laughs> Honestly, I'd rather watch Snakes on a Plane than this. Like, at least well, that movie's fun. goofy bad, but like yeah, this was yeah. just so boring. It, it was just so offensive. The fact that anyone likes it actually makes me super, super <laughs> upset. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Completely agree. I just don't know what you guys were expecting from a movie called Plane Star. No, no, we Charlie tried it to be bad. We, we went because it was supposed yeah, to be bad. Yeah, Charlie and I have seen many bad movies that have great entertainment. And in fact, yeah. Gerard Butler was in Gods of Egypt, which <laughs> yeah, is baby. one of our favorite bad movies ever made. So we went in with the implication, okay, it's a bad action movie with Gerard Butler. It's got to be entertaining. But this wasn't even entertaining. It was just boring. It was just yeah. nothing. Nothing happened. Like, when you see yeah. Gerard Butler in a January movie, like, you go in there expecting <laughs> it to be fun bad. Like, he was recently in Geostorm, Gods of Egypt.